What's up y'all? Just after 10 a.m. in the morning, we about to get out and do some fishing. It's kind of looking stormy today. A lot of you guys have been questioning how I find new spots, new ponds, uh, especially y'all reaching out on Instagram. So hopefully some of y'all are over here watching the videos too. And I always find my spots using the Fishbrain app, like 100% of the time. Okay, maybe 99% of the time. If I don't use Fishbrain, I just use Google Maps and I go on satellite view. But today, I'm looking at the Bass Forecast app and it's telling me that there's a good bite today and they're gonna be hitting the top water. I'm thinking the storms are about to pick up here in about an hour, so I probably don't have a lot of time to fish. I'm going straight for the buzz bait. I've been fishing this community a fair amount recently. I've caught a 4.5, a four and a half pounder out of these ponds before, and some people are reaching out to me saying they've caught fives here recently. So we're gonna see what we can put together, you guys. All right, guys. Locked and loaded. We got to get rolling though because it's getting windy. The storms are approaching. I'm curious if I should even take anything other than the buzz bait, like in all honesty, because it's if you're trying to cover water and hit the banks and you know they could be biting top water, then you're just going to want to walk the bank and not stop and slow down. But if I carry another rod with me, I'm constantly going back to pick it up. And it's so windy, I'm wondering if the Texas rig is going to be good. But you know what? I think I'm gonna take it anyways. Just bring the T-Rig with some extra plastics. Throw a Texas rig all the time. Let's take the jig. Black and blue jig, and I'll grab a couple plastics just to use as trailers. I'm gonna bring one bag of Kraken Cross to go on the back of that jig. I'm gonna bring the pliers. Okay, let's get into it. Lock the car. Don't have these neighbors get mad at us for fishing. Let's hurry up and walk away. Don't have a whole lot of line left on this reel, so I'm not gonna be making the longest casts ever, especially if we get a big one, the drag could definitely slip. But um, let's see what happens here. Dang, a lot of people have been hitting me up in the comments about how this thing doesn't have a skirt. And I guess it fell off because there was a skirt on here. Is that good or bad? <laughs> Oh, there we go. That's the first one of the day, and that guy was pissed. Now, here's what I've heard. Sometimes you go and follow your buzz bait up with a bottom bait after you get them feisty, and you can sometimes get that fish. Let me throw this jig in here. I bet we can snag homie. I bet we can get him. We know where he's at. We've got his little spot located. Now let's rush in here with the jig. This could be good right here. Okay, first cast after tossing that buzz bait out for a couple more. And we know homies around. Just gotta find them. Just gotta find them. I'm going a little faster pace with this jig than I normally would because I know he's probably still hanging out in the area and I just want to get this thing in front of him. And sometimes I have even good luck with this crack and crawl. Yep, sometimes I have good luck with this crack and crawl just swimming it because it flutters so well. Look at this guy go. Yes, yes, yes. So it was a good idea to bring the jig, you guys. How cool is that? You gotta follow up your buzz bait every once in a while because they don't always go for it back to back. And so that's what God guys crack and crawl, moving it real fast, not popping it on the bottom like I normally would because like I said, today they're active. Oh wow, he's been caught. He's been caught before. He's got a big old mark by a hook in the top of his mouth. Check that guy out. He's a, uh, he's, a pound and three quarters, I would say. Could even tip the scales at two. Okay, no time to dilly-dally. Storm's approaching, let's get some more. But I'm thinking that may or may not have been the big fish that exploded on the buzz bait. So let's try the same area again. I'm gonna pop the jig the same way. I'm telling you they're hungry today, guys. This is sick. I knew I had them on too right away because it just got heavy. And uh, I'm popping this jig to where it's not really maybe on the bottom and getting caught on as much stuff. So this is, I'm just like pop, 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 real. Pop, 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 real. And we got another one. And we got another one. Oh, he's taking it. No, he's not. It's a little guy because he's not fighting too hard. Oh, yes. Look at us go, guys. The jig and crack and crawl combo, killing it. Oh my goodness. And look, it's a little bit bigger, I think. I think this one's a little bit bigger. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, guys. Crack and crawl jig combo, two in two minutes. That is what we are talking about. Oh my gosh. Everybody, get out here. We gotta hit the story up. If y'all aren't following me on Instagram, do it right now, at Wsmithstagram. How many could we get right here? They could be stacked. Yes. 
and I'm just going fast paced you guys you have no idea like I could even see there's a little bit of weeds on my on my flippers of the crack and crawl and I said screw it I don't even have time to take them off let's just cast in there because we got to take advantage of this uh, storm and coming right now like they are on the move this is a finesse jig that I got and an MTB Pro box. So if you guys have never used Mystery Tackle Box, that's how I'm discovering new stuff, man, and I love it so much. With my code in the description, actually you can get, if you go through that link, your first box for as low as five bucks and you'll be getting baits like this. Every single month you'll be getting baits that are just right for the season. You will have a blast throwing some new stuff, I promise you that. This is a tungsten weighted jig finesse jig and I've just cut the crack and crawl down to the last portion the last segment and it's just a perfect perfect combination for this thing so it was like a fair amount of visibility today even with the weather so black and blue might not necessarily be your color choice but I'm telling you they're just I bet you they'll go after most things today given this rating of uh, like 9 out of 10 I'm telling you the the, the bite is on y'all I'm only gonna give a couple more casts here and then we're gonna walk a little further should we have weighed those fish just to show you guys what they weighed probably I'm curious how it's gonna get as I come up to this next corner it's a windblown bank might be a lot of little bait fish getting pushed up bass feeding could be a frenzy Guys, I am willing to put money, I was gonna say, I'm willing to put money on this corner over here. I'm telling you, wow. Sometimes they get it, sometimes they don't. Come on back for it, mother, grab it, grab it. This is it right here. Must be a little guy. The big guys can, they can usually get it no problem. Come on, right here. That's your spot, that's your cue. That's your cue. Where are you at home skillet? I'm gonna have to go in with the jig after one more. I'm gonna take it out a little bit further, hit that corner. Here we go. That's the cast. Any second now. Any second now. Wow. Gotta be kidding me. Oh. Oh my god. Did you see it? That's another blow up for the books, y'all. What are they doing? They are not grabbing a hold of this thing. We are getting frustrated. Oh, see, I'm telling you, we've been having good luck casting straight out. They've been chasing it in, you guys. I'm about to go tie on another freaking buzz bait. This thing is sucking. What the F? Okay. GoPro batteries in the jig rod. Let's go. Check. We're going to pop this thing back in around that same spot. We got the hit with the buzz bait. Let's see if we don't get a hit right here. Oh! We had him biting. Okay, chop this thing down. Let's be recycling. Same with this guy right here. Put him back in the bag. Man, I'm just getting caught up in so much stuff. That's why I'm trying to move it a little faster. Ooh, there's a big one over there. Just saw a wake. Oh, he hit it. All right, I'm taking off this trailer hook because I think without the skirt, they're not seeing much of this thing. And I believe this trailer hook is affecting it. Oh my gosh, that could have actually been a big one. I'm thinking that might strike again. He was hungry. Oh, little fish. A lot of little fish activity right there. I was about to say, I knew I'd get a hit. Guys, I made up my mind. I'm kind of over this buzz bait this morning. I'm going to get the whopper plopper. I want treble hooks. I'm gonna see if that doesn't make a difference. I've literally had probably 10 blow ups. Okay, so here's what we're dealing with. My goodness, 130 size whopper plopper. This color, I haven't thrown this thing since last year and caught a bite on it when top water was good then. Actually, I think I've thrown it, but I haven't got a catch on it since last year. Um, so we're about to link up with the first catch. Golly.
Well guys, I hope you like music videos because that's about how this one turned out. That's the trade-off of using a mic though. With these newer GoPros, you got to use that $50 mic adapter, then you plug your mic into it and just sometimes it decides it wants to crap out on you and the connection's just not right and then all you get is static, literally. So the whole second half of that vlog was just static. I was throwing out some awesome key points. I was throwing around that jig without the skirt and uh, making a bunch of catches with it. So I was just talking about how, man, the jig doesn't even, the skirt hardly even matters. That was bad luck with that skirt though. I literally have another one of those jigs. I've been throwing it. Skirt has never fallen off. I've been catching monster fish on it. So the Whopper Plopper happened to link up on the first freaking bite. Imagine how many fish we probably would have caught just using that Whopper Plopper the whole time really makes me angry and to be fair that molex endline buzz bait i use it many times like that was the whole that was my first buzz bait or first maybe even first top water i ever caught fish on and i literally used it for so many vlogs when i first started out and caught so many fish on it big fish small fish every type of fish using a trailer hook not using a trailer hook and so it's tough to say that the skirt really messed it up that much the thing is with the buzz bait you are going to miss a lot of fish it just happened to be back to back to back to back on this day we nailed a few good ones in this one most of them came on the jig i wish you could have heard some more audio but uh it just wasn't the mic's day i'm trying to figure out a way to maximize the gopro's audio without using a mic i want to make sure i can capture clean crisp audio for you guys at all times and also never run into the issue of not getting sound throughout my vlogs because it's happened multiple times and it seems to be happening more and more frequently when i have really good information information to share so I'm probably gonna stop using a mic at some point but uh, we'll see what happens I'm starting to make an income with YouTube it's super sick could not be more appreciative of all you guys thank you so much for all your likes thank you so much for all the comments you leave I try and respond to every single one of you DMs on Instagram don't forget to add me over there you guys often reach out to me like do you ever just have a bad day like not catch any fish something goes wrong with your equipment trust me it happens and it's just something you got to push through it's just one piece of the puzzle and it's not going to matter in the long term you just got to keep editing these videos keep putting them out so thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you on the next one peace <gasps>